This video is an overview of MIL Light On, DTCs P1355, P1358, P1361, P1364 stored in the ECM. The technical bulletin applies to Volkswagen A4 platform models Golf, Jetta, New Beetle, year ranges 2002 to 2004. Remember to work safe and work smart. Work in a well-ventilated area and protect yourself from injury at all times. Before beginning, consult your owner's manual or the appropriate repair manual for your vehicle. A 2002 Volkswagen Golf with a 2-liter engine is used in this video. Consult specific information for your model. A test drive confirmed the malfunction indicator lamp, or MIL, was on with no drivability complaint. Using a Volkswagen scan tool to read the fault codes from the engine control module, or ECM fault memory, fault codes P1355, P1358, P1361, P1364 were present. The VAG specific codes were also noted, however, we're going to focus on the P code definition. To find more information on the fault codes, I'm going to use Bentley Publishers Ebon Golf Manual. There are two choices for 2 liter engines. We want to be specific, therefore we have to properly identify the engine by code. The choices are AVH or AZG. A quick way to identify your 2 liter is to remove the engine cover, then locate the decal on the timing cover. The engine code or motor number as Volkswagen refers to it is AVH in this case. Getting back to my Ebon Golf manual, I can now select a correct engine. To locate specific information for fault codes, select Diagnostic Codes, then navigate to the fault codes stored in the vehicle's ECM. There were four fault codes stored, all very similar, for ignition circuit open. Working from a save file of the scan, I'm going to choose P1355 for my code to work with. Once I select my code, the Ebon Golf manual displays the fault code along with a description and a hyperlink to any additional repair information. Clicking on the hyperlink allows me to navigate directly to test procedures for the fault code P1355. You can see there are quite a few steps needed to identify the cause of the P1355. To see the circuit the fault code is referring to, I navigate over to Vehicle Wiring Diagrams, expand the Wiring Diagram folder, select the correct model year, locate the correct engine by code, and expand the folder once again. Next I'll click on Motronic Engine Control Module Ignition System. The wiring diagram shows four ignition coils, one per cylinder, integrated into one ignition coil module. You can see the coils share a power supply, along with a ground supply. These are the affected circuits here, the trigger circuits for each coil that the fault codes are referring to. The fault code description, test procedures, and wiring diagrams could all be used in conjunction to remedy the problem causing the fault code. Earlier I mentioned there was a technical bulletin, or a TB, for this fault. By clicking on the search tab in the upper left hand corner of the screen, we can then copy and paste our fault code into the search bar. Click on Go. As you can see, many search results come up for this fault code. Some of them for our vehicle, some of them not for a vehicle. If we enter the engine code, we get even more results. To narrow the search, we can select a category to search. In this case, it'll be technical bulletins. Now we're down to about nine results from a few pages. Below the search bar, I have any search words selected, meaning P1355, AVH. If that shows up anywhere in a document, the search function will display it. 
if I select only P1355, the TB comes up immediately. Another way to refine this would be to include all search words, meaning that the documents would have to have both, and the TB will show up once again. The TB identifies all affected models, along with a description of the problem and any associated fall codes. The vehicle used in this video is a 2002 Golf and has all four fall codes stored mentioned in the TB. Page 1 of the TB states the condition may be caused by a faulty ground connection. Page 2 of the TB describes a repair procedure with notes describing differences between affected models. Page 3 of the TB describes the remainder of the procedure and page 4 of the TB describes Volkswagen warranty coverage, parts, and special tools required for the procedure. After reviewing the TB once more, it's time for the repair. The TB indicates a possible faulty ground at ignition coil connector T6D terminal 1. The repair consists of running a new ground wire from connector T6D terminal 1 at the ignition coil to main ground number 12 under the vehicle battery. The ignition coil is located on the driver's side front of engine. The ignition coil connector is accessible and the wires can be exposed by unclipping the protective cover. Once the protective cover is removed, peel back the wire loom to expose the wires. The large brown wire housed in the connector, labeled Terminal 1, is the ground wire referred to in the TB. The main ground or ground stud 12 is located under the vehicle battery. To access it, remove the vehicle battery. After the battery is removed and stored in a safe place, remove the battery tray. There are a total of five fasteners, four at the bottom of the tray and one located near the intake air housing at the firewall side of the battery tray. After removing all five fasteners, remove battery tray from vehicle. The TB I found in the Ebon Golf Manual shows me where ground 12 is. Let's locate ground 12 on the vehicle. Yellow arrow points to ground 12. Remove nut from ground 12 stud and store in a safe place. Install the new ground wire you fabricated to ground 12 Install and tighten the nut for ground 12. Route the wire as directed by the TB. I chose to enclose the new wire in a loom before attaching it to the harness. Next, butt splice the new ground wire at connector T6A, terminal 1 of the ignition coil connector. Once the butt splice is secure, seal the new connection using heat shrink tubing. After wiring harness is rerouted properly, continue to reassemble vehicle, then clear ECM fault memory, test drive vehicle, and confirm fault codes are no longer stored. Feedback or questions? Visit our online tech forums or our online technical library at bentleypublishers.com.